They arrive 1,000 a month. Freedom seekers and fortune hunters, widows and British nobles, merchants, tradesmen, sailors, and pickpockets. 25,000 souls and not one hospital. By century's end, four men will turn a scrappy colonial outpost into a world capital of medicine. John Morgan crosses the Atlantic in 1760 for a tour of study at Europe's finest medical schools. He returns in 1765 with a document in hand, a plan to start his own medical school. It will be America's first. Backed by his mentor, Ben Franklin, Morgan petitions his alma mater, names William Shippen, professor of surgery, and enlists Thomas Bond to teach clinical practice. Before year's end, the nation's first medical school opens its doors to 10 students and two and a half centuries of firsts. Benjamin Rush, father of American psychiatry. Philip Singh Physic, father of American surgery. Casper Wistar, Adam Kuhn, Robert Hare, Joseph Leidy, William Pepper. First, every last one. Five years before the official discovery of x-rays, Penn's Arthur Goodspeed produces the world's first x-ray image. Two years before the U.S. grants women the right to vote, Penn grants MDs to its first two women students. Two decades before the pill, Penn scientists discover the hormonal process that makes it possible. Penn's Peter Noel shatters the myth that genes play no role in cancer. Penn's Aaron T. Beck revolutionizes the field of psychiatry. Penn's Alfred Newton Richards leads the first mass production of penicillin. Penn scientists produce the first underwater breathing apparatus, televised surgery, Department of Radiology, coronary care unit, human-to-human -human blood transfusion, intravenous nutrition, the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. First.